Montana, the premier trout fishery of the lower 48. Known for its plentiful wild trout, scenic landscapes, and untamed rivers, Montana was not always such a destination. For decades, hatcheries had been used with the intent of repairing degraded fisheries across the state. Nevertheless, as hatchery production increased throughout the 20th century, trout abundance decreased and native stocks were displaced in Montana's rivers. Anglers and scientists attributed declining harvest to habitat loss. However, in the early 1970s, biologist Richard Vincent performed a groundbreaking study, the results of which shocked Vincent and his colleagues. It was discovered that the millions of dollars invested annually in hatchery production were not helping Montana's fishery, but in fact were the leading cause of its collapse. Stocked fish were reducing the success of all self-reproducing trout populations, including those of both native and non-native origin. Testing a new hypothesis, Vincent analyzed how trout populations responded to the cessation of hatchery stocking. I put together a study design that would kind of iron out whether or not this was a factor or not. We went through the first year of the study with 1970 and I was actually stunned. The populations of brown trout almost doubled in one year, rainbow even more so. And that population, a rainbow eventually went 800% of what it was prior to the cessation of stocking in there. Four years later, these shocking results drove Vincent to make his unprecedented management recommendations. Stop planting hatchery trout in Montana's rivers. Vincent and his team were under intense pressure from anglers who claimed that this new policy would destroy Montana's fisheries and local economies. Basically all hell broke loose. No one liked this idea. You know, you couldn't eat in a restaurant without being yelled at. You couldn't go to the bar and have a beer without being yelled at. Our trailer was vandalized once. Uh, it, was, it was like we were bringing to the end of the earth. No, I don't think Montana should ever start stocking their rivers again. No, I don't think there's a, a single soul out there that's gonna say that we need to start stocking our streams. The last place in the lower 48 you can go and catch wild trout. Well, we're so proud of the wild fisheries that we have up here in Montana and uh, the great work that Dick Vincent and many other biologists did in the early days to make this a self-regenerating fishery. Today, nearly 40 years after Richard Vincent's study, Montana's reputation as one of America's premier trout fishing destinations has been restored. Focusing on habitat and discontinuing river hatchery stocking, trout fisheries have recovered and wild populations are fully self-sustaining. Although the presence of non-native trout stocks continue to remind us of management's past practices, Montana's story remains a shining example of what can happen when science informs policy. After casting into Montana's wild rivers, the lesson is clear. Stop planting, preserve habitat, and nature will take care of the rest.